Friday, March 30th, 2018, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. Uh, before I start, I'd like to say that this is a sponsored video for the Peculium project. Uh, I've been working with Peculium since the end of November, and this is my fifth video uh, for them. Uh, they've had their ICO uh, back from uh, December to the uh, end of January. They raised uh, 8.3 uh, uh, million euros or around $10 million. The Peculium project is now involved in the uh, continuous coin offering or CCO. And that goes until the end of July and it's reserved for corporate uh, institutions, savings institutions, and uh, it requires a minimum investment of 100,000 euros. Before I go further and talk more about the project, I like to say that this is for informational purposes only. Uh, this is not advice uh, for people to buy into this project. And that if you do, uh, I recommend that you read the white paper, you look into the project and all the uh, uh, risks involved. Uh, it's a highly speculative project. Uh, in my opinion, uh, they're trying to do something that hasn't been done before and they're right in the beginning of uh, this, you know, their project. And uh, I think uh, the next few months until the end of July will be key. Uh, they have a professional uh, team, 40 plus people. Uh, they've uh, updated uh, their website. It looks very good now. Uh, with a lot better than it was in the beginning when they're doing, you know, running their ICO. And uh, they issued their tokens at one euro cent uh, back uh, December, January. Uh, the, the token now PCL is trading on HIT uh, BTC. Uh, and if you look on World Coin Index, uh, there's not much volume yet, and it has come down a lot like all other cryptocurrencies. So uh, they're down to less than the euro cent now. They're actually at uh, 0.0017. So it is a risky investment. Um, the uh, upside is that uh, they're able to attract a lot of uh, bigger institutions uh, they're they're looking to um, sell their idea to people like uh, BlackRock. Uh, they try to sell their ideas to people uh, that run pension funds for big corporations. Uh, and their premise is that there's 19 uh, trillion dollars of savings every year, and they want to bridge um, the cryptocurrency uh, asset markets with the traditional markets. And uh, what is uh, Peculium exactly? Peculium uh, see themselves as a revolutionary savings platform that seamlessly merges traditional savings economy with the cryptocurrency markets via the power of automated machine learning, artificial intelligence, big data analyst, analytics, and the smart contracts over the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, and according to them, Peculium is the bridge between traditional, the traditional economy and the new era of crypto economy, reducing barriers, decreasing volatility, increasing confidence, and creating a mutually beneficial endeavor. Peculium is the door designed to achieve the best risk-benefit ratio for the crypto investments, whether you're an individual or an institution. PCL is a utility token on the Peculium platform used to pay for the various products. These products take advantage of the artificial intelligence engine called AIEVE, A-I-E-V-E. -E. Uh, the Peculium team is now composed of 40 individuals with various expertise uh, coming from uh, blockchain technology and software development, development to quantitative finance and algorithmic uh, trading. So their potential future partners, the people they're uh, trying to pitch their project to right now in the CCO that started in the beginning of March to the end of July, there are people like uh, BlackRock, UBS, Deutsche, Asset Management, McDonald's, HSBC, Sumitomo uh, Trust Bank, PIMCO, 
Total, the French oil company, Vanguard, Investment Managers, Airbus, Sodexo, Amundi, State Street, Global Advisors, Walmart, and Volkswagen. Peculium will be a, a kind of utility token that will help them uh, navigate that market. That's what they're trying to do. Whether they're successful, whether this uh, idea and project uh, comes to fruition, in my opinion, is speculative. But uh, we will find out in the next few months by the end of July. And if they do get very good interest from these kinds of uh, institutions, and if they put the money behind them, uh, we could see uh, a, a big move in the value of the tokens that we could see uh, how can I say, a long-term viability for the project. A peculium see themselves as bridging traditional markets and, and the blockchain. Uh, they look at themselves uh, more like uh, Bloomberg and other public websites that provide a, a wealth of information for investors uh, and individuals. They also see themselves as adding value to asset managers, as you can see uh, there on the... Uh, on this flow chart. In terms of tokens uh, allocation, uh, they're looking to issue 20 billion token in total. Um, but of course, they will burn tokens that are left over. Percentage wise, the continued coin offering will represent 55% of the tokens. Uh, the ICO will represent 25%. The stakeholders uh, will be 15% and private sales 5%. And the tokens will be uh, sold uh, to, at the CCO as well at one euro cent, uh, just like they were sold at uh, the ICO. Recently, uh, Peculium have been get, getting some good publicity. Uh, they've been in publications such as Forbes France and Les Echo as well in France. Uh, the article in Forbes talks of artificial intelligence and savings towards a new financial uh, model. That's in French there. Um, I've translated it uh, in Les Eco as well. Blockchain intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence and savings. So to end my video, uh, yes, I think it's uh, in its infancy, this project. Uh, they have, uh, in my opinion, a good idea. Uh, my question is, will they be able to implement it and make it successful? Uh, they've looked at all the factors, the, you know, the fact that uh, savings are 19 trillion a year uh, throughout the world, that they're going to bridge the gap between traditional savings and cryptocurrencies. And now they're trying to uh, pitch that idea to major traditional institutions. And uh, it will... Uh, only time will tell whether this uh, will be a successful project. So as I said, it's highly speculative. Ironic because what they're trying to do is to make uh, with this project and uh, what it's going to be, uh, you know, making savings more, uh, how can I say, stable and secure uh, in the crypto uh, space. Uh, you know, at the same time, this is a spe speculative project. So... Would I put uh, all my savings in it uh, in the project? No, of course not. I think you, if you are interested, you should only put uh, how much you're willing to, uh, you know, money that you're will willing to lose. That's the kind of project I think it is. Uh, it could also be a huge uh, gainer if they're successful in pitching this idea to the major institutions I, I spoke about earlier in the video. It could be something very big. It could be like, you know, like the Bloomberg uh, platform in the late 80s. I remember it wasn't a huge thing. Very few people use it. But look at how Bloomberg is huge now. It's not only like a financial market data um, platform, but it's also a, a media company. Am I saying Peculium is going to be that? No. So that's it. Peculium. Um, check out their website. I'll put the link below in the description uh, right now uh, for individuals. If you want to buy the token, you can go uh, on the exchanges. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. 
And you can also follow me on uh, steamit.com and on Twitter. Take care.